right now. So, the first thing I want to say is, if you're watching this video right now, it is a sign. Whatever you've been holding back, whatever you've been putting on hold, whatever you've been saying, oh, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it next week, I'll do it next month, maybe sometime around next year, oh, when I get my money together, that thing that you've been using those statements with, it's time to do it right now. Your power in any and everything that you want to do is in right now in this moment. This is the only moment you have right now to change something that you want for the future. If you want something to change for the future, stop postponing it. You know what you're doing? You're postponing your happiness. How does that sound though? Oh, I don't want to feel good today. I'm just going to feel good next year, next week, in the next hour, next month. When I get my money together, I will be happier. Is that really what you want to do? No. If I said it in that type of statement that you're postponing your happiness, it doesn't make sense. So if I say, oh, I'll wait till next month. When I get a little extra money to start my business. That's you saying, oh, I'm going to wait until next month to be happy. And I say that because if you, whatever you're thinking about that you're postponing is something that you want to do that's going to make you happy. That you feel like it's going to bring you success. Which that makes you feel like it's going to bring you joy. Why would you ever postpone joy? Why would you ever postpone happiness? You know, do it now. That was a word. Do it now. Start that business now. Start that podcast now. Start that music now. Start writing those poems now. Start writing that book now. Create that business now. Write your courses now. Like, if you want to create some courses for people and help people, you need to do that now. If you have some unique jewelry that you want to create, start it now. Do it now. Do it now. You know what you you know why you do it now? You do what you can do right this moment because you begin the momentum. <clears throat> you begin the momentum of what you want, okay? But before you can even begin the momentum of what you want, you got to figure out what you want. You need to sit down with yourself. No, we're not, oh, I'm going to talk to my best friend about it and see what she thinks. No, you're going to sit down with yourself and you're going to figure out what you want to do. What do you want to do? Have you figured it out yet? Figure it out. You have time. You could be 20, 30, 40, 50. It don't matter. You have time. Sit down and figure out what you want. Is it a particular amount of money that you want? Do you want love? Do you want a family? What does that look like? Like, you know there's things that you want, but have you really sat down and just thought about how will that feel? If the exact thing that I want happened right now, how would I feel? Begin to feel it. Begin to sit down and imagine it. And if you imagine it and it gets you into a good mental place, in a good emotional place, you will begin to drive yourself into the momentum of that wavelength, that way of you going into that direction to get what you want. You know? It's what you want, though. It's not what your mama wants for you. It's not what your friends want for you. It's not what your friends want from you. It's what you want. What do you want? You're the only person that matters. Listen, I'm about to I'm I'm about to hype you up a little bit. You are amazing. You are amazing. You're smart. You're beautiful, you're gorgeous, you're fabulous, you're a baddie, you look amazing, you're, you're, you're blossoming, you're all that, okay? You are a successful businesswoman right now. You are successful in whatever you want to do, you're successful in it right now. And I know you're thinking like, what do you mean I'm successful in it right now? I haven't even gotten started. If you can imagine what it would be like for you to be in that momentum, you being in that successful business, you being a successful whatever you want to do, 
if you can actually imagine that shit, even if you can't even visually see it inside of your head, but if you can enact the feeling and the thoughts behind it, it's yours already. You can't feel something that doesn't exist. If you feel it, it exists, okay? It's yours. You are that successful businesswoman right now, okay? Right now. Not next month. Even if you you could start up, you buy you you know purchase your LLC, your website, and everything right now, and you would probably think of that as oh that's just starter base, that's just the beginning. I'm not successful yet. You're successful the moment that you purchase the LLC, you purchase that sole proprietorship, you purchase that corporation. Whatever you need to do, this is not business advice. This is just telling you whatever you need to do to get started with whatever you want to do the perfect time to do it is right now because you are already that person you're already that person you're already that successful person doing the thing that you want to do you can do you can have you can be whatever you want but you can't do any of that stuff unless if you believe it I'm going to tell you straight up like this. I'm not the type of motivational person that's going to be like, but you got to hit the ground running. It's going to be hard. You got to hit the ground and you got to get up and get up and get up. First of all, it ain't no way of motivating somebody like that. Motivating somebody and telling them how hard it's going to be, it ain't doing nothing but discouraging you. You know, it ain't doing nothing but discouraging you. Something that you really, really want to do you're going to do it and you're going to feel good about doing it. And if you don't feel good about what you're doing, maybe you're not doing the right thing. Have you ever thought about that? If it was that difficult, it doesn't matter what you go through. We're not going to sit here and talk about, oh, there's going to be hard times. Like, you know, all of that type of stuff. That stuff does not matter. When you are in alignment of doing exactly what you love and you care for and you want to do, it will not feel like work. It will not feel hard at all. It will be easy. It will be so easy. It will be easy as easy as eating a piece of cake. If you like cake, if you like cupcakes, if you like candy, if you like drinking some wine, if you like a shot of honey, it will be that easy. You're worth it, though. You're, you deserve it. You know, you deserve to have that perfect, slim, thick body. Baby, guess what? Even though you can't physically see it right now, it's already yours. It's already yours. That perfect body is already yours. You know why it's already yours? Because you can mentally see yourself being there. If you can mentally see yourself being there and you can really feel the feeling inside of yourself of you having that body, the body is yours. At that moment, the body is yours. How long can you stay in that feeling? How long can you stay in that emotion? If you can only get that emotion for about one minute, really seize that one minute. Figure out more times of the day where you can be able to feel that feeling. Always chase, not even chase it. Allow that feeling to come back to you. The more you do that, the quicker it is for you to get to where you want to go. Now, you may think, oh, well, being a business person or whatever I want to do, it's going to take years for me to get there. It's going to take so long. No, it's not. You know why it's not? Because when you already know what you want and you're in alignment with what you want, time does not exist. You can have it like that. You can have it tomorrow. Never tell. I, I'm not into the game of, you know, telling people it can, it's not going to happen overnight. Guess what? It actually can. If you can literally meet the exact emotion and the feeling and the frequency of the exact thing that you want to a T, the shit can happen right now. But most people can't get to that alignment perfectly on the first shot. You know, because we've been taught so many times that things are going to be hard. Life is a struggle. You got to work hard. You got to, it's not going to happen over life. You need to be practical. You know, oh, I don't see that for yourself. You're, you're, you're not smart enough to do that. Bump all of them. 
you are you are amazing you are smart forget all of that stuff whatever you want to do bro you can do it if you want to be a cna if you want to be a registered nurse if you want to go to college if you want to become an engineer if you want to be an author if you want to be a youtuber if you want to be an artist like it does not matter what you want to do whatever you want to do you can do it bro can i tell you this I'm talking to me too. And I can see in the past couple months, I have been, yes, there have been trial and error, but I have been enjoying the process of me continuing to tailor the things that I want. That's, that's what's going to make you successful is you jumping into what you want. And as you go, you're going to tailor and tailor and tailor and tailor what you want to do until it is perfect for you, until it is satisfied for you. And then it explodes into success. That's how it works. But you have to know where you're going. What do you really want? You have to know exactly what you want. What do you want? Write it out. If you want successful business, things like that, we don't even have to make it that deep. If you want to be a person that's more so on time, you want to be a person that's on time. Feel how it would be if tomorrow you went to work and you were on time. That would make you feel good. You didn't have to stress about anything. Traffic flowed so easily. Tomorrow you're going to be on time. Have one day of that amazing success of being on time. You can be on time for the rest of your life. Once you do it one time, you can do it again and again and again and again and again. In the beginning, there's going to have to be some tailoring, okay? You know, if you're a person that's not on time and you're always about 10 to 15 minutes late, tomorrow you might be seven minutes late. Guess what? You are one step closer to being on time. And that's just a really small example, but that's how everything works. You have to start and you have to tailor. Start and tailor, start and tailor. Keep going, keep the momentum going, keep the momentum going, keep the momentum going. Because as long as you're continuing to keep the momentum going, you're going to get better. Anything that you do consistently, starting with your mind, start with your mind, sorry. Start with your mind. Don't start with the action. Think about it first. It'll be the best thing that you ever did. Think about it first, right? Once you thought about it, and those start those thoughts start to flow, and you're just like, boom, I can do this, 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 and this. It may come to you as random as I don't know what. You could just be sitting there minding your own business, eating some ice cream, watching love and hip hop, and then boom, you just got this bright idea. And it's just like, bro, I got it. I know exactly what I, I want to do. I know exactly what I need to do. At that moment, you need to go ahead and get started. Do not let that moment, that aha moment, do not let it, don't let it fall away. Don't let it die. Don't, don't let it go away. Go ahead and get started right there and allow it to flow. Allow it to flow. Allow the momentum to go. That is what I need for you to do. Okay. We can all be successful. We can be just as, we can be as successful as we want to be, but it starts right. And I know that sounds so cliche because we were taught that as a kid. And then when we get older, then we're taught, okay, well, it's not quite that easy. <laughs> you know, that's what they want to teach you. But it is that easy. You know, it is. Let this be a, let this be your sign. Get started today. Don't delay. Start today. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye, y'all.